morning, guys. It's Pete Hooley down here with the coaches courtside catch up in Geelong Arena for something different. Assistant coach Paulie Hanari just come off a unusual loss in the preseason, was saved from a branked by Cotton three. How do you think the guys looked? Obviously, it's the first time we've had a lot of the roster back, just Mitch McCarran out. How do you think the guys looked? Yeah, it's um, it's been a bit of a frustrating preseason for us. We've had guys out with injuries and sickness and things like that. So we want to get our group back on the floor, but we also realise that um, you know it is preseason and while we want to work with the combinations we have, it's more important to make sure the guys are healthy. So that side of it's been frustrating, but look, I thought there were some great things out on the floor tonight. Uh, you know, for the, we led for the majority of the game, and I thought we defended well in that last possession. I thought Shea did a great job on Cotton, and uh, he's just one of those guys that makes shots. So, um, but I don't think we should focus on those last one or two positions. Um, there were a lot of good things there. Still a lot of improvements to make. They shot the ball too well. We gave up too many uh, uncontested layups under the rim. So, you know, we'll just treat it for what it is. We'll break it down. We'll watch the film, and then get ready for Adelaide on Friday. Now, we talk, everyone's talking about the depth of this United roster, but extremely athletic throughout the whole thing and now you don't have to take credit for it but I'm sure you might I've heard a lot of the people are ado you're adopting the tall blacks style of play with especially the way you're being defensively aggressive and stuff like that is that a kind of a plan that Dean and you guys have implemented with the athletic guys you have well, I'd like to take credit for it but it's really Ross McMains our other assistant coach that we've brought in he was really uh, instrumental in shaping our uh, offensive style um, that, that we used at the World Cup and you know, we've got we've got great athleticism we've got great scorers and shooters so uh, there's just some themes there that we're trying to implement and, and that takes some some growing and figuring out so you know hopefully the guys will embrace it and um, uh, you know I, I think it makes for an exciting way to play as well so we've got a week until the the first game the throwdown against Southeast Melbourne as you said one more preseason game against Adelaide what do you have to look at moving forward to that Adelaide game, but more so the week leading up to that first game? What are the things you really want to iron out before that first game against South East Melbourne? Yeah, I think we, we have to use this game as our last, uh, you know, our last obviously our last hit out um, and, and really focus on us, uh, focus on, on the team that we want to be at both ends. Um, we, we had too many defensive breakdowns tonight, so we need to make sure we fix those things up. Uh, at the offensive end, we still need to you know, find our rhythm and find some flow. And, and, and that's, you know, when you're playing games, you've got to learn on the fly and learn in front of the video and, 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 and make those changes on the floor because, you know, we won't be able to get to the practice floor again until, uh, until next week. So, you know, again, it's just a focus of ourselves and playing the right way. Now, lastly, everyone's touched on, as you said, the depth of this roster. What are the kind of luxuries that for a coaches to have where, say, a guy gets in foul trouble like they did tonight, but you turn down and you've got national caliber players coming off the bench. How kind of a luxury is that for you guys? Yeah, I think it's a it's a massive luxury. Again, I, I don't know if we've played a game with our full, complete roster yet, but uh, when we do, I think what that does is it, uh, I guess it frees up the guys that are on the floor. You know, you don't need to take positions off. You can just, you know, play balls to the wall and give everything you have to, to the team and to the game, and then you know you've got guys that are coming off the bench that, that can, you know, not just carry the load, but make a positive impact uh, on the scoreboard and the way that we're playing as well. So, you know, and it makes for fun practices as well. You know, practices are really competitive. And um, but, but the thing I love about this group is that, you know, whilst we're trying to figure out our identity and, and, uh, and the way that we play, uh, everyone's really committed to, you know, playing for one another. And that's, uh, that's a great place to start. Well, guys, you've heard it from assistant coach Paulie Hanari's mouth right there. It's going to be an exciting year. The guys are starting to come together. Make sure that you jump online at Ticketek. Get your tickets for the throwdown next weekend on Thursday night against South East Melbourne. Paulie's going to be there. They're going to be raring and going. Make sure we see you guys there. See you guys there.